What's up, gang? So we're going to show you guys how to terminate a banana plug today. Today we're working with what I believe to be not audio cable. I didn't run this cable, but I have to deal with it. So we're going to deal with the parameters or the circumstances that we've been allotted. Now, what we're going to terminate today is these monster banana plugs. Monster cable has rubber here. They're labeled so red and black, so you can differentiate between the two. Actually, red and blue. That's a dark blue. Um, all right. So. I guess step one would be either prepping the cable or prepping the plugs. We'll prep the plugs for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to. There's basically two pieces to most banana plugs. You unscrew, this is piece one and piece two. Now, one thing to note is the wires are gonna pass through the bottom. They're gonna come out the top and I like to umbrella them. And I, there's no better word I can come up with, but we're gonna umbrella the wire ends over this little crushing tooth uh, termination, we'll call it. So basically, the wire is going to come out, up and over, umbrella around, and then the the cap's going to go on, and then it's going to crush the metal into the metal into the metal. You have metal here, metal here, and then the wire itself is metal. So the cap is solid. It's going to crush the metal in between these little teeth and create a nice solid contact, and then you can plug and unplug into the receiver. So we're going to prep these two plugs. We'll get them ready. Piece one and two piece one and two. And then we're going to prep our wire and show you guys how to terminate this stuff. So step one is prep your plugs. Step two would be prep your wire. Now, you need a desired wire length. The easiest way to achieve that is to line the wire up with the plug itself so you can see how much wire you're going to actually use. So I'm going to mark it with my finger there. You can see that I need a little bit more extra protruding from the plug itself because I need it to branch up and over this. So I know I'm going to cut here. Let's get the jacket off. We'll strip some more of the jacket there. Okay, so now our two wires are prepped. Traditionally, if you're not using plugs, you wanna twist the wire, close it off, but because we're using plugs, we're gonna leave the wire nice and stranded as the way it is. And like I said, I don't believe this to be audio cable because audio cable is usually preferably, you know, pure oxygen-free copper and high strand count. Usually better audio cable has a high strand count, so there should be like 60 strands. I'm seeing like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands, dude. There's no way this is audio cable. And this sucks, but it is what it is, man. You have to call the right people to get your house wired up. You can't trust a contractor. You ask him to do it, he will do it. He'll be like, yes, yes, no problem, I'll do it. But then this is what happens. They're gonna run the wrong, they're gonna run the wrong wire, dude. It's not cool. I, I understand we're all on a budget, but there's certain things that have particular needs and low voltage cabling, there needs to be more respect, man. I mean, this is what happens when you don't respect the trade for what it is. And I see that a lot with homeowners. They don't respect it for what it is. You know, they'll give anybody the work, but then they suffer afterwards, and that's not cool either. There's, there's no reason for it, buddies. So, let's get into the termination. We're gonna shoot the wire through. We need the wires to protrude. We want the jacket to exceed the jacket of the plug itself. So, we're gonna shoot it through, I would say about a quarter inch, until you have about a quarter inch of wire extra, and then you can proceed to umbrella the the little cables this wire is very particularly hard to deal with because it's not it's very thick gauge for audio cable so what i call umbrella ing the wires over the little termination teeth a little usually with a lot more strands i, I go like this and i push and all the wires just kind of umbrella right over which is nice So you, the whole goal is to get them folded over the top so that when I screw the cap on, it just secures them, crunches them, and, you know, claws into them, creates a nice, solid crunch on there. So that's what it looks like. Honestly, because it's thicker wire, it may be a better example for you guys to see what's going on. The thinner wire looks beautiful, though. When you do it, it's just like a nice, flat ribbon of... of of strands go flowing over in an umbrella fashion. But this is what I mean by umbrella. It's gonna, gonna look like an umbrella. All the wires are just pouring over the top there. And then you come and take your little cap and you screw your cap on. And this cap compresses and squeezes the wires onto the other portion of that. 
And then I guess the last step would be making sure your cap's tight and tugging on the wire. Make sure you have a nice, strong, solid contact. So that's a finished termination. And I actually put the wrong barrel on it, but it's okay. <laughs> it's hard to pay attention while you shoot. <laughs> so that's one finished. We'll get the other one finished for you guys just so you can see. So again, we're gonna shoot the wire through and then you're gonna to proceed to fold over your wire ends. I like to spread them out evenly, disperse them evenly. Like I said, this doesn't seem to be audio cable. The signal will transfer and we will get an audio signal, but I think that honestly, it's gonna be degraded, if not impeded in one or more ways based on this, I mean, just like seven strands, it's ridiculous, dude. Even crappy audio cable has like 30, 40 strands, you know, like more basic stuff. But the whole point of this video is to show you guys how to do this. And I guess that's all that matters right now. So that's what it looks like. And then you throw your cap on and you're done. You test it out, always pull and tug, make sure she's tight, she's good to go. That's two solid terminations there. It's as easy as that. Now, I've been playing with wires, I've been playing with cutters, I've been doing a lot of this for a very long time, so maybe it looks easy. Um, a lot of these skills only come through by you watching the video, but also practicing. So I would recommend before you get into your own home system, it'd actually be great for you to take a piece of wire, cut a nice piece of wire, audio cable, maybe a few lengths, you know, six inches long, and just practice terminations. Especially if you're an installer, you've never done this before, you're new to the field, practice your terminations. It doesn't hurt because the thing is, once, Steve, get inside here, once, once you get to the rack situation and you're working with a very limited length of wire, like right now, these wires are too short for this rack. Again, we did not do this pre-wire. But when you're working with exact lengths of wire, which is what we do, we like absolute precision. But then the problem with that is there's no room for error. So you really have to know your stuff and not screw up a termination. So for example, if you have this much wire and that's all you have, you cannot afford you cannot afford to screw up a termination because there's no extra wire. You see what I mean? So very important that you practice before you actually hit the equipment, you know, practice on the workbench and then get into, just press it again, and then get into wiring into the equipment. And also, one, I guess one other thing to note, make sure you have these terminations, these, uh, I forget what the hell they call these. I really forgot what they call these things. But you want to make sure these are screwed all the way in when you're using banana plugs. You only unscrew them if you're using regular bare wire. But that's it. We screw it all the way in. We plug it in. Make sure your colors are all right. Um, another step to this would be, I guess, uh, toning this wire, seeing which speaker it is, giving it a label. That way you can plug it in right. We'll do a separate video on that, show you guys how to tone some speakers out. But that's it. That's fresh. Oh my gosh! Is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? What? Wait, Dream Media, come back!